This is an example of a surface area problem where we're given the equation of a plane and we're asked to find the surface area of where it intersects a cylinder. I graphed it over here and the surface area that we're looking for is basically this inside region. Kind of looks like that. If you know the equation for the surface area, it's a pretty simple and straightforward problem. It's going to be the square root of partial z partial x squared plus partial z partial y squared plus 1 dA. Using the equation of the plane, we can solve for z, so z equals 10 minus 2x plus 10y. Then we can plug that into the equation, so that's going to be partial z partial x, that will be negative 2 squared plus 10 squared plus 1 dA. That's going to give us the square root of 105. If we convert to cylindrical coordinates, from the cylinder, which will be where the double integral is over, we can just say that this is equal to r dr d theta, and r goes from 0 to 2 in this case, and theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, and then once we solve for that, we'll get the final answer, so that's going to give us r squared over 2 from 0 to 2 times 2 pi times 105. Plugging in 2 will give us 4 over 2, that's 2 times 2 pi. Our final answer will be 4 pi times the square root of 105. This is another surface area problem where we're asked to integrate over a region. This time it's going to be a triangle from point 0, 0, to 0, 06 and 6, 6. So it's going to be this triangular region here. For this problem, we're still going to use the same equation as last time, that the surface area equals the square root of partial z partial x squared plus partial z partial y squared plus 1 dA. And we won't have to switch to cylindrical coordinates, but it is a little bit of a messy integral that we'll do. So we have already this part of the surface in the z form, so we can go ahead and take the partial derivative with respect to x first, so that's going to give us 4 squared plus 3 times 2 y squared plus 1, and that's going to be dA again. So if we simplify that, that's going to give us 17 plus 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 squared is 36, and then y squared is just y squared dA. From here, we already see that there's something a little bit different in that there's a variable under the square root, and it's a y, or it's a y squared, I mean. To make it easier, we're going to want to have a y out here if possible. So since we have the area, we can get dx and dy, the integrand ranges, from this graph pretty simply. And we can see already that we're going to want to find dx, dy, and dx will be from 0 to something with a y in it. And that will give us a y outside. And then we can solve the integration more simply using u substitution. So let me just show you what I mean. Since we're trying to find dx, the integrand ranges first, we know that we go from 0 to 6y, and then x is starting at 0, so we start when x equals 0, so that will be our bottom value. And we know we have the point 0, 0, and 6, 6. If we find the slope of that, that would just be 6 minus 0 over 6 minus 0, which will give us 1, which means that the equation for this line is y equals x. We can plug in that x will go from 0 to y, and y will go from 0 to 6. So now we're ready to integrate and solve for the final answer. We see that we don't have any x's. We can put x square root 17 plus 36 y squared, and that goes from 0 to y, dy is from 0 to 6. When we plug in, we get y times the square root of 17 plus 36y squared. And then if you plug in 0, that would just be 0. So then we have that from 0 to 6, dy. Here we're going to use u substitution. So we have that u equals 17 plus 36y squared. If we take a du, that's going to give us 36 times 2y dy. 36 times 2 is 72. So if we have y dy on one side, we're going to have du over 72 on the other side. Plugging that in, we're going to get du 
over 72 times u to the 1 half. If we take the integral, we're going to get u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds times 1 over 72. And then let's go ahead and change the integrand ranges. So when we plug in 0, we're going to get 17. And when we plug in 6, we're going to get 13, 13. So it's not the prettiest integral ever, but it's not that hard either. Plugging in that and simplifying, our answer will be over 108 minus 17 to the 3 halves divided by 108, or approximately 439.879.